And I'm happy to be a realtor in this community for over 30 years, and I'll be having an anniversary party, open house pretty soon, and you guys will all be invited. And um, before I start, I was going to start, if anyone wants, these are some of the handouts that I've prepared for you today about the Orange County housing market. We're always so interested in knowing where where is our market going, how can I buy, how can I sell. Um, there's a lot of myths out there right now between what buyers think and what sellers think, though, too. And um, with the market the way it has been in the past, where it's you know prices have shot up so quickly, uh, and of course that's the cycle. So what buyers are thinking now, well, what come what goes up must come down. If that's what you know, it makes logical sense. But timing the market has always been a difficult thing to do. You know, when's the right time to buy? What if the bought prices go down like even 10%? But what if the interest rates go up by one? On the back of this flyer that I uh, uh, sent around, it does talk about the impact of just 1% of, of, of a rate increase and how that can impact your affordability. For an example, if a purchase price was, uh, let's say, 600000 and you were putting 20% down, so that's an 80% loan at an interest rate of four and a quarter. You know, the buyers have gotten so used to, and sellers, that interest rates are three and four percent. How would that be impacting in your payment if it went up? Well, that price would be 23.61 at the interest rate today at four and a quarter, but it could go up more about $300 a month if interest rates only rose 1%. And then if a buyer was trying to time the market and say, well, what if prices went down 10%, your price, the, the payment is going to be exactly the same. So you're better off buying now when there's more, where there's inventory and where you know that the prices are, are where they are and what they're, because they could go up again just as much as they could go down. So the one myth about the market is trying to time it to make it, it's just like buying stock, when's a good time to buy, when's a time to sell. So uh, the fact is right now for buyers is it is still a seller's market. Even though it's, we're not bombarded with the multiple offer situations and with them flying off you know, the shelves as fast as they go on, right now the market is about very stable at about 100 days on the market, that's 3.3 uh, months uh, that a house might remain on the market, gives the buyers plenty of time to make some options. However, here's a story. I'm showing a young couple today at noon who is buy, the, buying their first condo, and it's going to be in the 350000 range. Actually, I was even going to show them something even less. But those, those particular ones, when they got around to choosing the ones they wanted to see, two, three out of the four we were going to see have sold this week. So now I only have one property show this afternoon. Anyway, so um, anyways, but it, so that 350,000 range or a first time buyer of a two bedroom, two bath, this happens to be in South County in the Laguna Hills, Alicia Ovejo area. So even though, but these houses, believe it or not, have been on, they were on the market for about 98 days. It was just, it's always the right time is when my buyer decides to do it, it's like all three of those have sold already and went into escrow this week. So it does depend upon price range as, you know, as the higher price range, if you're over a million, obviously that average of 3.3 months may even be a little higher. But also, uh, one of our members here had asked me about first time buyer programs. There were oftentimes some city-sponsored city first-time buyer programs. Every city that I contacted, I kind of knew that it was probably not around. None of them are offering anything like that anymore because of the economy and all the the things that happened in city government, you know, their lack of budget, those programs have kind of faded away about, in, you know, in, in about 2012. And some we were still doing it last year, but very few. But what I wanted to pass along to you, and then with my networking partner over there, Kathleen Kramer, we have uh, kind of talked about, there is a grants program out there that people may not know about. It's a three and a half percent down, grant program where it only takes a half a percent of the of your own money to put into that and the other 
3% is, is a grant. It is an FHA product and oftentimes requires a little bit lower credit score, which is kind of good, but it is, it's not a program for everybody, but it is a starter program, so I would suggest if anybody here knows of someone who is a first-time buyer or they may be a first-time buyer themselves, that you talk to Kathleen and she and I can counsel you regarding the uh, that type of program that might get you into a first-time home. That, you know, and you can start out, you know, it will impact obviously your payment a little bit, so you might have to start out perhaps in the 300,000 range, and you can, again, find a nice condo in, in uh, Orange County for that amount. Um, I Basically, if you, uh, the only other thing that I could chat about is that a lot of people don't even know what happens when the escrow starts. Uh, what happens to the seller side, what happens to the buyer side, but basically, before you start uh, any kind of search, you find the right realtor, right? That's what we always say, even if you're buying or selling. You interview a couple realtors. I get most of my business after obviously 30 years from a ref you know from referrals, basically from past clients or friends, or even other realtors who are, who are not in the area. The one I'm showing to today has a long time client. These are the kids of a long time client of his, and he's from San Diego. He doesn't work this area, so he he found me through another realtor who I know and who I network with through the Women's Council of Realtors. So, um, but obviously if you're on the seller side, you, you also do the same. You pick your realtor, you start getting your house all prepared, you call up John to get the house painted, right John? Right. You get Pat over there to clean up the carpets, or you, you really start doing the way, you know, making your house show the best that it can. And from the buyer side, buyer has to meet the right lender to get pre-qualified before they begin their search. They, they want to know if they're in the right price range, how is, how is my payment going to be. We usually kind of like to start backwards. I can afford to pay this much, so if I have this much down, where does that equate in the uh, the price of the home that I can afford. So after that, you know, the realtor shows the property, writes the offer, it gets, goes over to the seller side, they get it accepted, back and forth sometimes, and then an escrow company, which is a third party company, starts the paperwork process, the title company becomes involved, they have to research the property, the title, to make sure there are the proper liens will be paid off in time and they have enough money to pay off their liens. So the process then becomes inspections. The, the buyer wants to know.